Hi, boys and girls, it's Mr. Wassman. And for a moment, I want you to uh, consider the humphead wrasse. That's the fish that you see here swimming in this video. This uh, funny looking fish lives in the Indian Ocean and uh, it can grow up to be seven feet long and it's endangered. Now, some of you might be wondering, well, why should I care about a fish that lives halfway across the world? Isn't the ocean full of fish? Why should one species of fish really matter when it all boils down to things? Well, the humphead wrasse is a predator. It's a carnivore, and it eats starfish, the crown of thorn starfish in particular, that uh, damages coral reefs. Now, coral reefs uh, provide homes for quite a large number of aquatic species from uh, plants to other fish and animals that live in the water. And because the uh, humphead wrasse uh, eats uh, the starfish, it keeps the population in check so that the coral reef can continue to thrive. If you remember, we talked about food webs when we talked about the diet of our animals and how uh, one species can be both predator and prey and all animals fall somewhere within a web of energy being transferred. Now, some of you may not be very fond of snakes, and you might think to yourself, well, why should I care about an animal that I don't really care about? Uh, snakes are yucky, so who cares if they're dead? Now, if you look at this, uh, this diagram, you'll see that the snake is both food for the hawk but it's also a predator that will eat uh, mice. This is what we call a corn snake. Now, corn snakes don't eat corn, as their name may imply. Corn snakes actually live in grasslands and sometimes can be found in corn fields. And why do they hang out in corn fields? Well, that's where the mice are. And since snakes are uh, carnivores and they will eat mice, uh, it helps uh, keep the mice population down. That can be damaging to crops because mice, like this field mouse right here, are herbivores and they eat plants and seeds. Corn and wheat and other crops that humans grow uh, would be eaten by mice. And that mice is a, uh, can be a problem for farmers. And so they actually encourage that corn snakes uh, live in their fields because they help strike a balance. See, the whole point of learning about a species is to get an appreciation of what they do for the, uh, the ecosystem that they live in. All living things serve a purpose. And unfortunately, um, human beings have not been too uh, considerate or thoughtful about uh, how they play in nature, and sometimes it has dramatic effects. Here's another species, the black spider monkey. Some of you might be wondering, well, why should I care about a spider monkey? Kind of funny looking, but what purpose do they serve? Well, it says here why they matter on the World Wildlife Fund uh, webpage. It says the black spider monkey is an essential part of the tropical rainforest ecosystem. They play a key role in seed dispersal, allowing their forest environment to continue to grow and thrive. Seed dispersal. Now you see uh, the black spider monkey will eat fruits and nuts. And sometimes as they're eating, they will drop things uh, as they eat. And those parts of the plants, the seeds and the nuts will fall to the ground and uh, will then uh, germinate and become new plants. But seed dispersal uh, in scientific terms is code for uh, eating seeds and then later pooping them out somewhere else. See, that's how a lot of plants uh, are dispersed in different parts of the world. Animals consume the plant, they consume the fruits, um, and they don't digest the seeds. They swallow the seeds, but they don't digest them, and the seeds eventually come back out and usually are dispersed in different places. Matter of fact, the fruits of most plants are designed for that purpose. They are looking to be eaten 
by animals so that uh, new plants can grow in other places. Sometimes uh, seeds will just fall to the ground right next to the uh, tree or the uh, the bush or the shrub that created it. But uh, in order for a plant to grow and thrive, it needs to spread out. So uh, creatures like the black spider monkey serve a, a purpose for helping um, forests and uh, plant life to grow, which in turn provides homes for other living creatures. That is one of the reasons why the American bison or the plains bison is an important species, okay? So this is a question that we are answering in our final slide. Why should we care about these critters, okay? It says here, Plains bison are dominant grazers of the northern Great Plains landscape. Okay, this dominance shaped the landscape by affecting the pattern and structure of the grasses and vegetation that grew. Now, what does that mean? Well, you see, the bison was, was considered a keystone species, meaning that it uh, played a role in the lives of so many other animals. Um, as bison forage, they aerate the soil. That means they break it up. Sometimes soil can be hard and clumpy, which makes it difficult for plants to grow. Aerating it by breaking it up allows the soil to be loose enough for the roots to grow through. Okay. And they disperse native seeds, helping to maintain a healthy, balanced ecosystem. Okay. Dispersing seeds. They eat grasses, and then sometimes those seeds come out later. Okay, speaking of uh, the digestive and e excretion systems, um, so it, all, it says here, as the bison graze their manure and urine supply, their manure and urine supply in important nutrients for the plant cover and their hooves stir up the soil. So I don't know if any of you have dogs as pets, but as you know, dogs will have to go outside from time to time to go to the bathroom. And if you ever take a look at your lawn, uh, probably the greenest and luscious looking parts of your lawn are probably closest to your back door where you let your dog out to go to the bathroom because uh, their waste uh, provides nutrients for the soil, which in turn allows for better plant growth. So, there's lots of reasons why animals are important. It's not just because we use them, okay? So we need to be able to describe the importance of what we can do. The leatherback sea turtle was my topic from last year. I wrote, people should care about the leatherback sea turtle because they're an important part of the marine ecosystem. Leatherbacks keep the jellyfish population in check, which benefits the entire biome. Again, if one species is depleted or taken out of the picture, uh, nature will fill in the vacuum with other species. So jellyfish, which are poisonous and can sting you, uh, would flourish in the wake of not having enough leatherback sea turtles. Going back to our model right here, if there were no snakes to keep down the mice population, the mice in turn would start to overrun areas. Now, some of these other predators like hawks and, and owls might be able to pick up a little bit of the slack, but if they're eating more mice, then that means uh, less rabbits are being eaten as well. And if one species is out of sync with its ecosystem, then that can have dire consequences. So there are lots of reasons why we should care about species. And then the other part is, what can we do to help? Okay, what can we do to support these species? Now, as someone sitting in a fourth grade classroom in Carmel, Indiana, you may think to yourself, well, what can I do? I, there's, I don't know how to uh, save a bison. Well, there are little ways that each and every one of us can help. Okay, if you recall, uh, the leatherback sea turtle uh, often uh, gets hurt or sick or even dies because it consumes plastic bags, which it uh, mistakes for jellyfish. And one of the simple ways we can help a uh, leatherback sea turtle, which live in the ocean far, far away, is that making sure that we put our trash away properly. So uh, 
throw away plastic bags or better yet recycle them at the stores where we got them in the first place so they don't end up in our oceans. Um, we can also uh, contribute money to organizations like the World Wildlife Fund and other uh, organizations, charities that help build preserves uh, where the leatherback sea turtle can lay their eggs, okay? Many of the, uh, the American bison today uh, live on nature preserves that have been set up by people to allow them to grow and thrive. So the two things that we're gonna be answering questions for is why are these animals important? And what can we do to help? And that's what I want you to be finding uh, information for your topic. Okay, and as I showed you, uh, the World Wildlife pages will have a section entitled Why They Matter, which is, should be your starting point. Okay, if you have questions, feel free to reach out. And then uh, we're going to talk again about how we can take all this information and uh, present it in a, a way that's going to be uh, fun to view. We'll talk again soon. Thanks.